Hello everyone, Kili Cardovain here playing Pro Cycling Manager 2018. I have some bad news. Uh, yesterday, the day before I recorded this, I recorded five episodes, but turns out my microphone stopped working. Uh, during the first episode I recorded, I didn't check the, the video files to see if there was any sound or anything. So all well, four and a half episodes are without sound. Um, I, I think I, I will do one episode where I try to summarize those uh, with video I, I have, uh, add commentary perhaps now afterwards. Um, a bit sad about it, but it happens, I guess. Some of the content was really good. Not maybe, yeah. So we, we're gonna miss out on that. Sorry about it. Um, five episodes lost, but I, I will I will see if I can make something out of it, at least. So let's look at the events that we lost the content from. It's tour of California. It is tour of Norway, and it should be. Uh, Tour de Suisse. Tour de Suisse was uh, a ton of fun, but I, I think we got something out of all the events. Uh, Tour of Norway, I was running a little bit of a joke on one of my teammates. Uh, one of the really bad guys, let's have a look, Caratero, I think it was. This guy, he was in awful form, awful fitness. He was at 80 fitness actually, uh, race day conditioning was between zero and minus four. He had more minus four day than, than anything else. So we'll see if we can salvage some of that uh, footage at least. Probably not. It's not the same if I would do it now. So that was a lot of fun, but we're never gonna be able to see it now. Uh, I will try to cut something together, I guess. We will see how that goes. Five kilometers. It's too early to try and get into a good position. We are happy with this. Three and a half kilometers. Mm. Okay, people are starting to speed up. Two kilometers, Kitusha. Let's start the sprint. We're gonna go. We might actually win the. I don't think we have the enough strength to make it to the goal line. Yeah, oh, we do. We do. We're gonna, we're gonna take this. Wow, they just let us uh, have it for free. No one even battled us. Sören Krag Andersen is in second place, but that was pretty much a free victory. So, winning the stage. No time gaps since. I think it was about 7 seconds, but that's not enough to be a, an actual gap in this game. We are now the new leader. Should also be involved with the sprint jersey. We have the mountain jersey, we have the youth jersey. Our team is in 7th place. So, uh, here we are. We are... <laughs> Not live, I'm recording this afterwards. Uh, third stage in Tour of California, we are in the yellow jersey, we see Galopan is attacking. It is uh, Rohan Dennis pulling the peloton, 11 people, but then he runs out of strength, he can't follow Galopan. We try to follow him instead, 80 effort, 3 uh, three kilometers left to go now when Grant Thomas attacks. Someone else is following him, it's De La Cruz. We try to do our best to keep up with Pascal Lopin. He attacked too early, but Thomas is still out there. Now it is only Thomas, we caught uh, De La Cruz. But we can see that our red bar is going down now with the 
one kilometer left to go there we are almost dead Thomas is going to win this Grant Thomas we are fighting for second place looking behind us to see if anyone is trying to catch us but it looks like everyone is very tired Thomas wins the stage we take second place and I think that's a rather good showing I got, uh, we are up against some top people we can't beat Thomas he is a monster but uh, we managed to beat everyone else on this tough mountain stage and we are also gonna see what that means we are 37 seconds behind Thomas on that stage we're gonna move on to I'm probably talking about other people or something I can't even remember uh, let's see the, the overall standings as well there we have it 30 seconds behind Thomas on that uh, in the general classification and we, I think we have the 37 seconds down to third place we have uh, mountain jersey did we have the we have the youth jersey by a big margin I think we had the points jersey as well or maybe Thomas passed us for that one. The fourth stage, we are at the end here of, uh, of the fourth stage. It's a double climb, rather short climbs. Uh, we can see that we are not in a good position. People are going out there and we are quite far back. Tony Martin is helping us. Um, I think it was Galapan, Bataglin and uh, a third person that attacked. I think we saw that, but we didn't see that uh, Grant Thomas also got away until now. Now we are trying to improve our position, I think. Or maybe we still haven't noticed it. <laughs> this is a... Uh, it, was, it was a massive mistake, I think, letting Grant Thomas get away. Uh, I only saw Galopan, Bataglin and the third person, not that Thomas were able to catch up with them. Five kilometers left to go on the stage. Rolands is trying to pull up in front. He knows that we, we really need to close that gap. We are going 99 effort for a little bit and 90 effort trying to find the four people ahead of us looked like we might be able to do it for a little bit but then it didn't really play out that well two kilometers left to go and we can see that uh, Martin is done desperate attempt from us to try and find the people ahead of us one kilometer left to go downhill towards the goal line but uh, we don't really have anything to anything to give to be able to find find them. Uh, Damien Hobson was the fourth person uh, in that uh, late breakaway and we take fifth place. Decent showing. You can have a look at the standings as well. Fifth place on the stage, 18 seconds behind. Checking our teammates as well. Rolands, Amador, Still in second place for the general classification, to uh, 48 seconds behind Thomas. We have the points jersey, we have the mountain jersey, and we have the youth jersey after four stages. The end of stage five, Rolands is helping us go fast up this uh, climb. I think it's a short climb, but then it should be downhill maybe towards the goal line. We are up in front, four people in our group, Krag Andersen, Grant Thomas and uh, Bataglan, Bataglin, maybe. <laughs> uh, we are pulling everything we can, trying to recover a little bit for the sprint. They, they caught us from behind as well, it was a big mistake there because we had the speed and then we slowed it down. And there wasn't really a reason for it. It was a big mistake. I think we're gonna take 
fourth place. Bataglin, Sörenkrig, Andersen, Bauke Mullema, and we take fourth place as uh, we expected. Then came the, the time trial stage. We know that we struggled with those. We're coming up to the time check with uh, Thomas just passing us. We are in 83rd place, 2 minutes and 20, uh, 29 seconds behind Rohan Dennis. That means we are more than 2 minutes behind Thomas. We try to fight back, but it's not going to be enough. We don't lose that much more time to, to Thomas, I think. But it's still going to be a massive gap. We are in 17th place, 3 minutes and 21 seconds behind. But even be, being so far behind, we still are in 6th place for the general classification, the overall standings. We are in 2nd place for the points jersey. We have the mountain jersey and we have the youth jersey. So it was still a good showing. And the last stage of Tour of California, we knew that we wouldn't be able to improve our position in the overall standings. We, we tried to fight for the, both the points jersey and the mountain jersey on this stage. Um, but I think we lost the mountain jersey. We're gonna see that, I guess, in the final result screen. Because uh, we, we really tried to catch the breakaway, but we just couldn't. And we needed uh, seven points more than Grant Thomas here on the, this uh, final sprint. We come in at the fourth place, a good showing. But Thomas, as we can see there, is in seventh place. Will that be enough? So we were a little bit nervous here. We can see that our teammate Roland came in ahead of us. Still in sixth place for the overall standings, but the points jersey, we needed seven points on him. We only got four, uh, three of them, three points more than him. We are still three points behind. Thomas wins the points jersey, and we can see that Squeens managed to beat us for the mountain jersey there on the last stage. But we have the youth jersey. And our team is in uh, second place, so a good showing for, for the team. We, we managed to compete on all stages except for the time trial, and we get uh, a good chunk of EXP for it. Last stage of Tour of Norway. Uh, we mostly had just uh, a lot of fun messing with our teammate uh, Caretero here in, in this tour. Uh, but we can see that we are in the youth jersey here on the final stage. And we are in second place for the overall standings. So we are trying to win the stage. Betancourt is helping us. We are trying to get away. That is the... Is it the last climb? Or the, no, it was the second to last climb, I think. This might be the last climb. The I'm not... <laughs> Not even sure, but we're trying our best to set a high pace to see if we get away from the the other favorites, creating a gap thanks to Betancourt. Three and a half kilometers left to go. Betancourt is starting to be very tired. There is some downhill coming up. And we have a decent gap to the others. Remember that we need to win this stage. win the stage in order to get the, the overall victory we are starting to pull uh, we're sprinting actually we are sprinting and we have win the stage we have a nice gap and uh, that means that we win tour of norway with winning the last stage uh, we also won another stage uh, here in tour of norway so that was a good good uh, tour for us Uh, we can see the final results here from Tour of Norway. We won the final stage. Betancourt came in third place. We take the overall lead four seconds ahead of Edward Toons. We check where he ended up <laughs> in the list as well. So that was a, it was a bit of a surprise that we stole it there on the last stage. Uh, Betancourt was very strong. He helped us a lot. 
didn't really keep up with the Yursis there. Please check out the youth Yursi. And uh, we'll see if we will get uh, a level up from this. I think this should be a level up. If so, we need to pay attention to what we pick here. Uh, we wanted a time trial skill. So we are checking time trial. What will that give us? We can see time trial, sprint one, downhill one, resistance one. Uh, stage races, it was the same except we get one point in mountain as well. So stage race races would be the one we pick. We also check the others. Climber would give uh, a nice boost as well, but only one skill in time trial, so that was not an option. The others were the pretty much the same. Not enough skill for time trials. We are going with stage races here for this update. Also trying to make sense of those uh, evolution of potential. It doesn't really seem to be working at all. Not, uh, not sure how that works actually, but uh, we went for a stage race update just to make sure that we get enough in uh, time trial. Now we are in Tour de Suisse. Nine uh, stages here in Switzerland. It starts with a prologue. We are trying to not lose a lot of time. Who is in the lead? It's Rohan Dennis, of course. He is very, very good. Tobias Ludvigsson, the Swede, is in fourth place. have been taking it rather slow, so we need to speed up here. 89 effort from now on. You can see the yellow bar was much too big. So it's just probably not an optimal time trial. We could have uh, used our strength much better. Then we come across the goal line and we are in 52nd place. 28 seconds behind. The end of the second stage uh, and one thing we were actually very uh, impressed by here in switzerland was that we were the team captain on this stage for example we had everyone uh, on our team helping us so that was rather impressive actually they believed in us uh, we didn't really have the best team we have tony martin we have valverde that can help us a little bit, but we didn't really have anyone that could fight in mountains. The best climber, except for us, is uh, Verona, the guy that have dropped here on this stage. Uh, that was also our fault. But now we are coming up here towards the sprint here on the second stage. Uh, we are trying to be in a good position. Moving out with uh, 2.4 kilometers left to go, something like that. We're gonna start the sprint. But of course, in a big event like this, there are some very, very strong sprinters. So we get uh, beaten quite badly in ninth place. Third stage, another flat stage with some, some small hills. Uh, Tony Martin was in the breakaway this day and he was doing a very good job. that uh, Valverde coming up to protect us. No, it's uh, Samitier that is protecting us. Oh yeah, this was <laughs> this was the stage when our teammate Samitier was in the youth jersey and I, I had totally missed that. I think he was on the previous stage as well and I, <laughs> I felt a little bit bad because uh, I, I have failed to notice it. But it's a big accomplishment for him. He was in super form here, at least early on in uh, Tour de Suisse. Plus three days, plus four days, maybe even sometimes. So he was uh, in super form early on here. We are moving up the final small climb. Tony Martin is still fighting. It looks like he will be caught. It's uh, Gilbert, Philip Gilbert attacking. And that attack caught 
that uh, Tony Martin and the other person in the breakaway they are trying to follow him, Gilbert that is. 10 kilometers left to go. There is some downhill and there is, then it's flat. Uh, Gilbert gave up. He also makes sure that we stay with the peloton. Now it is Roglic attacking. A very strong attack. We are trying to get Valverde to protect us. Seven kilometers left to go. We're still in the downhill actually. Five kilometer mark, Roglic gave up. Only 49 people in the main group, so it's been a tough day. It's been a very tough day on a lot of people. Uh, not really a flat day because it was much tougher than that. But of course, many of the top sprinters should still be in this group. We struggle a lot with positions here. Two kilometers left to go. We are trying to improve a little bit. Should be Kwiatowski up, up in front, I think. He's not going to win. Grönewegen in the red points jersey is going to take it. And we are in sixth place. A good uh, sprint. We can also see Michael Matthews. I think that is the first time we really compete against him. He is our arch enemy he, and uh, he managed to beat us on this stage. Another flat stage. This is stage 4. And uh, Valverde is helping us here towards the end. We are 5 kilometers away from the goal line. The breakaway just got caught. People are trying to set a high pace. Three kilometers left to go. The pace died down a little bit. So we decided to go use Valverde for as long as he can last. And then we start the sprint a little bit late because Viviani moved past us. Then Grönewegen comes as well. Another win for Grönewegen. Peter Sagan. Is in second place in the yellow jersey. And after the flat stages, you can see we took five, fifth place. I don't think I said that earlier. Uh, after the flat stages, we are in sixth place for the points jersey. Sixth place for the points, yeah. Looking at that. Uh, nowhere to be seen really for the, for the overall lead. We are 37 seconds still behind. We were in 36th place, but that, that was just the flat stages, now it will get more interesting. The first mountain stage, stage 5, you can see there are three massive climbs. Actually, I think I'm going to zoom in on them soon. No? What the hell am I doing in the game, actually? I'm trying to, to get into a better position, I guess. There we go. First climb, second climb, and then the final climb. All three of them are very tough. And uh, our tactics for this stage was that we wanted to win the mountains. We wanted to make sure the pace was high. Uh, my expectation was that my team would be done early in all the climbs. Uh, the, the other teams would break my teammates. And then when I didn't have any teammates any longer, I would set the pace because hopefully at that point the helpers of the other teams would be a little bit tired and we would take advantage of that and just uh, uh, grill the opponents, make sure that only the favorites made it to the top together with us and then we would take it easy again in the downhills. So that was the tactics for this stage. And here we can see it in effect on the first climb. A lot of mountain points to be gained. A K category mountain. And we are leading the pack. Only 15 people in the main group. 75 effort is enough to just make sure that uh, most of the people are very tired at this point. So we take the mountain points for that one. And uh, we, we are feeling pretty confident that uh, at this point of the stage. Uh, we are looking at the second mountain as well, saying we were going to do the same thing. 
And now we jump into the final climb of the day, the climb towards the goal line. We see that uh, Mollema is going up, Thomas is going up, uh, Rohan Dennis is pulling us. We are struggling a little bit at this point, using 85 effort and we are just barely keeping up with uh, Dennis and the people he, he pulls. Of course Dennis is a, in the same team as Thomas. Uh, I think it is Bahrain, Meredia, I'm not sure about the team name, probably Bahrain or something. Um, we managed to find them again, but then there was another attack, this time it was from Thomas. He and three other people, we, we need to try and follow them, so we attack as well. It's uh, Mollema at least, not sure about the others, it's that Krag Andersen in the Danish jersey perhaps Thomas is getting away we are able to follow oh, it's actually Fugelsang of course it's Fugelsang we are actually able to follow the others Fugelsang is pulling us 3.8 kilometers left to go so we are not really in a good uh, condition at this point we go down in effort to uh, 70 see if we can find a little bit more st uh, strength Woods Michael Woods is attacking a strong attack from Michael Woods. Now it is Thomas and Woods ahead of us. Fuglsang is still strong. Two kilometers left to go. I think at this point we are starting to feel a little bit more brave. And then we go 75 effort trying to set the pace. Fuglsang is attacking. We are wondering if we should follow him. One kilometers left to go. Riding with 75 effort. We see Thomas is uh, far ahead. Woods is starting to slow down a little bit. Is this our chance? Fuglsang is still looking strong. Thomas is going to win. Woods will be in second place. We are trying to pass Fuglsang. We're going to sprint for the last bit. See if we can create a gap to Fuglsang and we do it. Good job. And of course that means, means the, the overall standings will be pretty much the same as the standings on this stage. We are 37 seconds behind Thomas. I think it's going to be 1 minute and 7 seconds if I remember correctly. But you can see that soon I hope. Because when I recorded this <laughs> I, I forgot... I might have forgotten to check the, the overall standings actually. No, no, we're gonna move to it. Yeah, one minute and nine seconds. A good showing for the, the sprint jersey. We have the mountain jersey with the amazing tactics. <laughs> we have the youth jersey with 23 minutes. Probably we're gonna take this opportunity to say that uh, during this Tour de Suisse we were booked to go to the national championship for Sweden. The individual time trial, as you can see up here, turns out it uh, it didn't happen. You can see that now I am uh, moving forward the, the day, wondering will we go to the national championship? Will we go to Tour de Suisse? And uh, we're gonna end up going to Tour de Suisse. And we didn't go to the national championship. I was wondering if we, if we would do both, but it uh, turns out the national championship did get cut from the schedule. And another mountain stage, stage five, I think it is. Is that correct? Stage six, it should actually be. Yes, yeah, stage six. Not sure if I did that wrong in the previous stage. It doesn't really matter. Second mountain stage, we are doing the same tactics as on the previous day in the game. Uh, used up all of our helpers, just keeping up with uh, the peloton. When the peloton started to slow down, we went up and set the pace, trying to grill the helpers of the other strong people. And of course, trying to yeah, reel in the, the breakaway as well. Here we can see the breakaway is full of very strong climbers. 
and they are trying to fight back strongly here in this climb. Uh, a K category climb, if I remember correctly. We are riding good, we are riding well. We are 22 people in the main group. Kalmetjan and Bakkelands are done for the day. Three. 0.2 kilometers left to go in the climb. Three people are still fighting. Actually, Bakilans and Kermedian also put up a very good fight. Kalmedian he is an amazing rider. But now the people ahead of us are starting to give up. It was uh, uh, Ripakim, yes. Rybalkin, something like that. He is fighting us now. He decided you are not going to catch us. The other two gave up. But Rybalkin is fighting. 12 people now in the main group. So our pace was very strong. And we can see that we barely have enough energy to make it to the top of this climb. 8 people in the end. Uh, only 5 people in the end managed to follow us all the way. But Rybalkin wins the mountain, he takes second place, so a lot of good points for us. And we are gonna get into the mountain very soon. We thought that maybe we would be able to take it easy. 26 people in the main group. So our work on the previous mountain helped us a lot. And we can see Fuglsang is going, Thomas. And Woods are following him. Rybalkin was still in the breakaway. He managed to get a big gap uh, between the mountains. But he get caught here early on. And uh, seven people get away. And we are riding with 89 effort and struggling to keep up. So amazing pace. Mollema, Jungles, uh, Kreuziger also there. Kreuziger looks tired. Jungles look tired. 89 effort and we are struggling now the pace died in the in the main group three people are ahead of us it's Fuglsang up in front Thomas and Woods chasing uh, people were trying to attack behind us but there wasn't any energy and we can see that we are still riding with 89 effort now we are going down to 80 with five kilometers left to go in the climb a lot of strength of strength that we had to use so far 20 people still in the group that we are leading Woods is pulling Thomas we go down to 75 effort three and a half kilometers left to go in this difficult climb people are trying to attack didn't see who that was, actually. It was Mollema, of course. Of course, it was Fauke Mollema. So now we have four people ahead of us with two kilometers left to go. We are worried about our position in the overall standings. But Fauke Mollema is dead. Woods also look super tired. We are working on our red bar. Woods, will he be able to follow us? Thomas is also dead. Fuglsang looks tired. We managed to catch up to Thomas. And he yeah, we ran out of strength just ahead of him. So he will be able to follow us. Fuglsang will not, <laughs> will not be able to pull away because he's also dead. Everyone is out of strength. But uh, Fuglsang will win. And we will take second place just ahead of Thomas. Thomas will get the same time as us. And we will be 20 something seconds behind Fuglsang. Seventh stage, another mountain stage. And we fell with 95 kilometers left to go. We went down. Ending up about a minute behind the main peloton, maybe 45 seconds. 
So it wasn't a big, uh, a big deal actually. We managed to catch them quite easily. You see the the group we are in are pacing fast to to catch up with the, the main group, and we are back together with them. And on this stage, the the mountain was actually ridden very different from the other mountains. We can see Tony Martin is still together with us about halfway up the climb. A Kreuziger should be attacking. It is Kreuziger, but that attack will not lead to anything. Kwiatowski tried to attack. Yeah, Roch tried to attack, but they, they didn't really move past us. We are riding with 80 effort. Kreuziger is attacking again, but we are just staying calm. A breakaway is still out there. Maybe some of those attacks I talked about was from the breakaway. Kwiatowski. And uh, I think I saw the Kalmajan attack as well. They should have been in the breakaway on this stage. Maybe Roch as well. We are pacing. Four kilometers left to go. 22 people here in the main group. People are being found from the breakaway. The breakaway have been riding very strong on this day. Kreuziger is trying to attack again. Oh, Kwiatowski is actually in our group. Makes sense, I guess. Woods is also trying to attack. Thomas is following Woods. Woods, that is a very impressive attack. You can see the main group is in disarray now. We are riding with 85 effort. We are staying calm here. We know that uh, we might be able to beat them towards the end of the stage. And we are sprint Actually, we were attacking, but now we are sprinting. Moving past Fuglsang. I think we passed Woods as well. Out to the left. We are done. We don't have any more energy. A breakaway victory for uh, Manuel Amaru Antunes. Thomas wins. Fuglsang had a little bit of strength left to sprint past us we take fourth place on this very difficult stage so after seven stages actually this is the the results for the stage stage seven breakaway victory we are one minute behind thomas on the stage the two minutes and 13 seconds in the total behind thomas and fuglsang is uh, 40-something seconds ahead of us. So we are, in, we are doing very well in third place. Michael Woods is behind us. He has also been riding very well so far. Sadly, stage 8 was a time trial. We are riding up the climb. There was a decent climb. About 4 to 6% in, first, uh, in percentage on the climb. Uh, we are actually still in the climb using all our energy, but we can see that we have gotten quite tired. If you look at the yellow bar on our rider, we still have a lot of riding left to do on the stage. Some of it is downhill, of course, which is, which is beneficial for us. Uh, we are in 19th place for the second time check, 1 minute and 9 seconds behind Rohan Dennis. So it is rare that we are in the top 20, that we are in 26th place at the goal line, 1 minute and 36 seconds behind Rohan Dennis. So we did very well on this stage for being a time trial. And the final stage in Tour de Suisse ends with a massive mountain stage, but the, the goal line is actually after some downhill. We are trying to move fast. Two people are in the break uh, attack in the climb. I think it's Kreuziger and Kwiatowski. We managed to find them. We actually attacked at this point. I couldn't remember that. Now we are pacing with 80 effort. But the, the attack didn't lead to anything. Uh, uh, pretty much everyone from the main group managed to follow us. We are 19 people over the edge here. 
15 kilometers left to go on the stage, but it's downhill. Uh, we are very tired, so we need to recover in the downhill here. 15 people all riding together. I think actually a few more people will catch us here in the downhill. So no one really wants to set the high pace. Or hope uh, we actually speed up the game a little bit. We are first for the mountain UFC, we have third place for the uh, <laughs> for the points UFC, we are in third place for the overall standings and we have the youth UFC as well. We attack quite early here, we still in the downhill hoping it will last when we get to the the flat stage here towards the goal line. Sadly, the flat stage was a little bit too long. I think it was 3.5 kilometers, something like that. It's just too long. We are still, still in the lead, 500 meters left to go. But at the goal line, we are out of strength and they move past us. It is uh, Daniel Martin who wins the stage. We take sixth place and the Tour de Suisse is done. And of course we need to check the results as well. I haven't checked this myself. Third, nothing changed for the overall standings. To the Swiss, third place. That is pretty good actually. Thomas is a monster. We also take third place for the sprint jersey. We win the mountain jersey. We have the youth jersey with 58 minutes and 11 seconds. So a good showing here in Tour de Suisse and uh, I thought that more people would withdraw and run out of time but it actually didn't happen. Only one person ran out of time and only a few people withdrew a lot of falls actually here in Tour de Suisse. And as a small bonus we add the Swedish National Championship road race. It happened the day after Tour de Suisse. Only eight people are riding and uh, well we're just gonna skip to the end uh, we are in the first breakaway of the day uh, it didn't it didn't uh, lead to anything four people went into the ba the breakaway that time uh, then all uh, Jonas Alstrand attacked and uh, we followed him it was us and him riding alone uh, it was pretty much me riding alone I was riding with 50 effort for pretty much 120 kilometers Together with Alstron, Alstron was just on our wheel. Maybe he went up and helped a little bit. Uh, we had more than 30 minutes on the others, actually. So that was <laughs> it was not <laughs> not very impressive stage. <laughs> um, then we attacked in the final climb of the day. Uh, Alstron can't climb; he's a sprinter, so couldn't follow us and then we ride alone to the goal line not really well uh, the Swedish championship is just too easy at this level it's it, it looks like with eight people riding it's a, a weird race and uh, you can pretty much outpace the the other seven people alone if you just attack and then we go towards the goal line and uh, there we have it, Swedish champion for the second season. So that was the lost episodes. Uh, originally it was five episodes. I cut it, I cut them down to one very long episode with mixed video, I guess. Uh, sorry about that. Couldn't really do anything about it, really. Uh, maybe I will do better and pay more attention next up. Uh, actually, we're going to be in this screen. Next up is International Österreich Rundfahrt. That is going to be fun. Probably going to be two episodes from that event. Uh, we are in a fitness peak, so we should be able to compete here in, uh, in that uh, tour. I have high expectations for it. Uh, see you in the next episode when that happens. Until then, I am Killer Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.